Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to step away from our 20 from 88 series for just a moment to take a look at a game called Batlantis, created by Konami in 1987, and it's a Space Invaders type of game. This was requested <coughs> requested by YouTube user Martin Hernandez, and um, it was if it was seen in the U.S., it was barely seen, I'm pretty sure. I never saw it, nor heard of it until recently. But yeah, it's a Space Invaders type game. You're this uh, Atlantean ruler, and you stand atop your castle, I believe, just out of, just above the water. And uh, various monsters come at you and try to storm your castle, and uh, try to uh, try to reach you cli by climbing over the walls and uh, touching you and killing you. And uh, eventually, that they're gonna reach the castle, but you have to you have to shoot them down just as they crawl over. And there's a uh, there's a couple um, what is it called parapets or something that that you can hide behind. Maybe uh, sometimes more than two. And there, a guy just crawled over. You can get uh, power ups. You can shoot through the parapets too. You can get power ups. And there, the enemy reached him and killed him. You can get power ups by this little wagon that goes by. You shoot it, and you can catch the power, the power ups. And there's there's four different weapons that they can give you, and one of them will also uh, stop time for you for a little while. We'll go ahead and get started. But, uh, yeah, you have your basic formation of enemies to shoot down, like in Space Invaders. But other enemies will also come, and they'll run towards your castle and start climbing the walls. And there's one of the power-ups, and it's very helpful. It's a bomb that has, uh, widespread range. Now I've got to face these, uh, these monsters climbing the walls. And finally, I face a sort of mini-boss. You have to shoot through his shield enough to kill him. And there we go. Now we go to stage two. There's a total of 32 stages. And uh, you get sort of an ending after the first 16 and an opportunity to play the rest. Then after the 32nd one, the game ends. Now on this level, you get a different formation of enemies. You get little flying gargoyle types that, uh, that will try to reach your castle. Damn it. On this part, you don't even want to look at the enemies. You just want to watch the, the fire that they shoot at you and weave in between it or around them. And just keep shooting. Don't stop shooting. When you face the gargoyles earlier on in this stage, you want to pick your shot. You don't want to shoot all the time. Because uh, if you miss a gargoyle... Ah, oh, goddammit. If you miss a gargoyle... Then uh, they can fly up to your castle and then go and kill you by touching you. Once they reach, once they get over the castle wall, you're screwed. <laughs> they'll, they'll get you. Uh, though there is a weapon that will allow you to shoot sideways and you can kill them if you have that. You barely ever get that weapon in the game. Guys are flashing red. You can uh, you can kill them with a like, one shot. There we go. On to stage three. Once in a while, you'll see these boss type of enemies. of things going on in this game sometimes it's hard to keep track of everything don't uh oops don't lose control of the or don't lose uh sight of those of those goblin guys that run towards your castle look out for them and then shoot them down sometimes you, you won't always get that power up from the, from the wagon 
try to try to shoot for it, but sometimes your shots get blocked by the barricade or whatever. But you, your your weapon has to be time. God damn it! I thought I'd weave between those shots. That was a boss. That was one of the bosses. There's like a total of four different bosses I think that that show up throughout the game. You can continue from the start of a level you died on, but I'm not gonna. But I will show you the uh, the rest of the, or some stuff from the rest of the game. I'll show you like part way through and the very end. Put in the initials here. That was Batlantis by Konami in 1987, a Space Invaders type of game. I'm not crazy about it. I don't really care much for it. It's really <laughs> not fair that once those guys get over the castle, you really have to look out for those guys who are going towards the castle. There's the boss that I died on. That's what it looks like when you do kill him. Then you go to the next level. There's a later boss, Frog. And then another boss later on is a giant uh, demon. Kind of hard to hit and shoot these big old balls at you. There's uh, the halfway boss. Destroy him, and then you get some ending credits. But you also can continue on to level 17 and finish off the game up to uh, you know, level 32. There's somebody named Contra. <laughs> As a joke, of course, uh, named after Konami's game that same year. You can press start at any time to skip through this, or you can just wait until the credits are over, and then you'll go to level 17. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you the, uh, the ending boss in just a moment. show you the, uh, you are excellent. You should be excellent when you put on cheats. <laughs> but, uh, we'll, uh, go ahead and look at, uh, the different weapons that you can pick up from that wagon when you shoot it. One of them is, uh, rapid fire, and again, you, your weapon is limited. There's a harpoon. That's really awesome. You can just plow through the enemies. And then another one is Bond, which we saw earlier. Well, th this one here is uh, Invisibility. Those are very useful. And there's also the side shot, which is very useful for when enemies go over the wall. And that was uh, Batlantis by Konami in 1987. And uh, I'll be back with the 20 from 88 series with the next video. It's Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Batlantis by Konami in 1987. Requested by Martin Hernandez. Catch you later, folks.
Take it easy. Bye-bye.